my buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Conan Exiles. Looking forward to having fun with you guys today like we do every day. Hoping that you find something to like. If you find something to like, don't forget to slam the like button. It does help me a lot and really appreciate it. And if you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Always got something new coming out for you. Love for you to be here when it happens. And we're back on the modded Conan server of Conan Moddedness. And well, we just gained a level. I just crafted up some of these beams you see on my two slot. You can see I got a crap ton of insulated pillars. I did get tired of some of the things I normally make a little bit of at a time and uh, crafted a bunch of them and just sat there and crafted and crafted. We're at level 100 now. I've put in, been putting points in and as you can see, uh, I've got agility now up to nimble tumbler. We'll get into the extended jump once we get like all these other ones that we want, I guess there. It's kind of funny. Accuracy is all alone by itself, um, but we have been doing a lot of work. Um, they did another stream since the last video. And I also, after the stream, continued working until about five in the morning and then got up the next day and worked on it some more because this market square is going to build itself and I don't want it to take like a month before we get into the next district. So I did a lot of building. We built this in during the uh, stream. Stand when I come back so I can jump. Thank you very much. We built this. This is going to be like a restaurant area um, and then interiors here. Then this is like a kitchen area that's going to happen and we're going to put... Uh, this door is here because I'm going to put a set of bar, a bar across here. And then we have the upstairs where the in rooms have been made, which there are several. Let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five, six rooms at this inn. And then there's an upstairs area that I enclosed upstairs here. And then we have, there we go. We have a little patio. So it's moving along. I also end up dealing um, now on my own time. Um, let's show you what I built here. Get that down. Maybe I need to go up the rest of the way with that. I don't know yet. But we have um, another building here that has a little ledge on it. I just figured I'd give you a little show show around of things. Let's drink some water too. Water. Use. Do one more to get the 100 and we'll do one crunchy time. Okay, crunchy times are good. But I did a little ledge thing here. I thought it would be pretty cool to have like a double level area. Uh, we redo the walls inside of here. Then we got this and it has a, the little balcony on it looking overlooking with a couple ways to get in and out from it. thought that looked really nice. Oops, I forgot a piece there. I need to come back and do that. We'll do that. I'll do that later. Um, and the... Did this... <laughs> section on the back end here so i've made a little overhang and i didn't pick this up from putting up a pillar down made an overhang and it came over here to the next building in the central square which has its own shape as well trying to keep it like even like ma uh, matching the other stuff but having its own look um so you can see there's a lot of work done uh here this has got that we got stairs already from before actually we did this one already why am i thinking i did this today oh well, yesterday or the day before whatever when i did it oh i did the end on it that's what i did i redid the top and did the end on there so this is built on no 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 i didn't do i don't know i didn't don't recall i built so much now it's gotten crazy uh this is like a warehouse back here uh you can see there's that and then the back end is like gonna be loaded up in the we'll warehouse of goods like uh barrels and crates in here eventually i had to do something to cover up those stairs getting up here there's a second floor this actually walks goes out into the little walkway so it's an actual it's actually like this the warehouse for this this market here i think that's what we're going to do we'll do like larger bulk goods on this one when we start working on stuff so i'm, I'm pretty happy with how that goes this is cool i wanted to do something a little different um, as you can see, it's kind of, uh, it's got an open air area. So I'm thinking about doing more of the, uh, like stalls uh, inside of here. So you walk in the openings here, there's a little, the merch in this corner, merch in that corner. Uh, this went into the ground, so I had to fill it in, but I kept the arches on it. Kind of like you see some filled in uh, arches in, or in like factories and stuff when they close down or some factories that they don't want the window there. So they put bricks up in it. So I did like that instead to make it work the best I could. Um, this building back here is also a very tall ceiling, has a wall area, tall ceiling, plus a little area that I need to put up fences or something. I hadn't decided on it yet. And it's connected to this building here, which I haven't built yet because I was like, I need to come up with something a little more creative to do this. 
Um, then over here we have this building which has a different kind of roof. I wanted to start getting into different roofs uh, than just the standard A frame. So we have like an L shape going on, which I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Uh, we'll look at that from above here soon enough. And there's this building as well, which I really, really like. So we have like a large bay area. And then over here, there is a big front on the end of it, which I need to do something with stairs or something here. Um, and it has a back end out that's pretty large to go to the other sections. Here's the stairs. Well, the stairs were supposed to go there. That's where it was. Uh, the second floor looks like this. A little more space area. Then up top, another one is this floor, which comes out to a nice, nice top area, a little balconies going on. And then it goes over the other section. For more storage and maybe a store uh, merchants uh rich merchant can actually have his house in there or something i'm, I'm not sure exactly what i want to do with that just yet we'll figure that out as it goes and then we built these two structures which this is a nice simple little corner one i thought it, it acts into the downtown well and i didn't build it up tall because the building behind it um i'm missing a set of pillars here i need to get that back in had some problems with the mod not allowing mods to load and had to do a bunch of other things and then they updated that mod and it worked but this back end of it i'm pretty happy with because i made a courtyard so there's a little courtyard we'll be able to dress up here in the future you make it look nice and pretty nice and pretty and then inside of it i didn't put a door there or something inside we have a a, a narrow narrower area and I did not put the freaking stairs on it yet. So uh, let me see if I have enough stamina to climb up the side here. Because I did a second floor here. As you can see, I'm climbing to two more walls height. And then there's a patio all the way around this. And I did a different kind of roof system again. Uh, I need to put up walls here. Actually, I've got the walls on me. Let's go ahead and throw that on there. So we have the walls, and this patio goes all the way around the structure. So that came out pretty nice, too. Interior is left open. Haven't decided on that yet. There's a lot of decorating we're going to have to do. Um, we'll figure out how it'll work out. But that's generally what I've done. So there's uh, basically for the market square, we have these two builds that need to get done. There might be a little bit more, more outlying buildings, depending on how it feels. I want to make sure it feels nice and big. What is that doing there? And then over here, we have a couple more builds that I want to do to kind of flesh out this back area a little bit more. So it's not a perfectly exactly square area. So it kind of adds some like like character to the builds. Um, what I'd like to do today is actually start working on a design for the gates um, for the market district. So if you saw this line of sandstone foundations earlier, this is actually where the, the I'm just trying to line up some wall ideas on how they're going to connect and everything. And so this is, we're going to actually gonna build a gate on this end. They'll probably move the gate forward a little bit to be in front of it, just to kind of give it some space. Uh, this build itself is already kind of up on that thing. So we might end up changing the depth of the walls on the exterior. I don't know. I got to play around with that, but I wanted to show you what has been done already. There you can see how the roof kind of got worked out. It, it came out really nice. I'm really happy, but let me get settled in some more. I'll get some more foundations built because I don't have a lot of those. I need to go and just grab a few hundred of them. And uh, we'll come back and get to work on this. So you guys, hold on. Welcome back. And we're here, here, and I did some things, which wasn't really much. I went and grinded out some mats, got uh, my plenty of sandstone made. I've also put in, um, got some more other things cooking up, like insulated wood, all that good stuff. So um, coming back here, I went ahead and brought out the wall a little bit. Uh, we can make it change from what we see here. I did turn on this so we can look at it. You guys can see the town or the city, I guess it's going to be how it looks so far. The town, it looks like a town now, I feel. Um, there's that roof. I really like how the roof turned out. And then this one's roof here, I'm, I'm pretty fond of too. Like how that little L section went. Then there's that one looks pretty nifty too. I call it the barbell. It's the barbell. So uh, there's a good amount. The market district itself looks rather fleshed out. So I'm not like, I don't feel like I'm jumping ahead by doing the gate uh, too far. You know, I don't feel like I'm too far ahead with it. Um, I did do this. Let's grab some foundations. I didn't make any extra ones. I should have. 
There's also a gate I want to check out too. There is right here. I want to do two of these. This will take a second. It'll probably give us a good amount of XP. It might even level us. Um, luckily, my I'm able. Is not the the collision um, mod is still letting me replace sandstone with black ice, which I'm pretty pretty happy about that actually. Let's come out another one because this gate is going to be somewhat large. And let's see, it's two out from that build. So we'll go ahead and do another row. And this might actually, this will build it into the side of the, into the mountain hill ground area. Let's just do that all the way out. Of course, I can't. Snap it over to here. I could probably maybe do a ceiling and get it in there. We'll just worry about that in here in a second. So with these, oh, I did level. Nice. Uh, let's put it into grit. So now my basic attacks cost less stamina, which is nice whenever we're encumbered because they, pretty much one full rotation will generally burn out my stuff. So let's see how big this is. Uh, we're actually decently okay. Um, and this is sucks because the entrance then will not be the same size of this. So I would have to do an offset to make this happen. Like this is too far over and this is too far over, I think, because we have how many spaces here? Um, one, two, three, four, and five. And it looks like an even number of width here. So what we need to do is some foundations, fence foundations. Let's do the oh black eyes one there. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys too. Um, added three more mods to the server because there was not enough mods. Obviously, uh, doing the stream, someone suggested immerse, uh, immersive RP and decor. Uh, also added in the ember light, and then also added in the sound effects mod that lets us do cool little sounds like. Here, I'll show you. You can only bring it in through the admin menu. So we'll go over here. I think it's SF. There we go. Mod for tavern, market noise, music for tavern, uh, and then a Stygian tavern sound. So like market noise, we can grab a couple of those. And let's see here, inventory. Effects. Of course, it's not there. Market right there. So when we put these down, It gives us a nice audio to help add to the ambiance of the feel. So let's see. Yeah, there we go. It was already. Was it doing it halfway? No, it wasn't. So we have to do some work here to make this happen. What I need to do is create some sandstone wedges like this. And then probably need to do the ceiling too. I think I've got some, but we'll make a couple more. Get them on my bar. I do have plenty of them. Uh, we'll put them on six and we'll put the wedges here. So if I come off with a wedge here, here, and there, then you can see that we have, we can do this and it will come back on itself too. So, uh, I'm not sure if it's snapping correctly though here. Here it is. So we have a sandstone ceiling there. We can do this. It'll be a little bit off. But I'm down with that to be able to get a central piece because this will snap to watch now. I won't do it since I say it will snap. So what I need to do, unfortunately, is break some of the black ice. I've like I've never done this before or before. All right, so we're going to do that. Now I need to grab a foundation. Sandstone foundation. Jump one and it should go right here. We'll do this one instead. What? Oh, yeah, I was too close. And then place a fence here just because this might actually add some neat lines to it, too. And now it'll snap to it. A 
If I can get it to snap there. there it was there a second ago. It's so finicky. I probably shouldn't have put all these down. I guess I need to pull them up, which sucks. And hopefully that'll be all right enough. There it was. I saw it. I saw it for a second. Brief second. I thought I did anyway. Let's try it from this way. Let's remove this ceiling. And try it again. All right. So I'm going to do this now. Wrong way. There it is there. Is it gonna let me do it if I if I keep it there? There we go. And then this one. Alright, so there's that. So maybe now. There it was. Now it needs to go up. I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. So as you can see, it's going to take a second. I need to remove um, several of these pieces so they quit influencing on where it snaps. Wait, wait, there it was. It did it? Did it not do it? Did it was I? Is it just afraid it's going to be too low? I think it's too low still. Is that it? That's it. Keep pressing V, B instead of V. All right, so let me let me finagle this a little bit more. We'll get some stuff shaped out here. You guys, hold on. Welcome back. And I was able to snap the second portion of this gate right next to the first one. I'm guessing it's on the offline here of this. Um, I really wish I could get rid of this guy and not do it. We'll just I'll just show you. And it'll destroy that one. So it, it, there's no real way I can snap this in here without having some sort of overlap from the from the foundations. Watch now, I won't be able to do it. I'll have to leave and sit here and work on it for a year. It's crafting that one. But um, I also crafted a bunch of large walls. Now that is another... Um, that's the archway. Where's the large walls at? I did right... Where is it at? I oh, it's on. Is it on black ice? There it is. There it is. Uh, where'd it go? I made a bunch. Where'd they go? Let's do large. There they are. Twenty-one of them. Uh, these are pretty freaking heavy too. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing to snap like all nice, like I did a second ago. There it is. Outer face towards us. Yes. So this was able to give me some sort of depth and it'll be a little bit different. I don't plan to put up the actual gates here. Um, let's see though if I can snap in maybe somewhere in here. Like do it like this. Do the same thing here. And then... I wouldn't mind doing an angle off of that, but let's do a square first. Now, the big thing you might notice on the in, on the market square, I want to say that, is that I did not use any wedges in any of the builds because I didn't want to. I wanted to have the challenge of trying to make using square shapes to not make square shapes as much. And I think it did okay. When we get into, like, the uh, Royal Sector District and all these other areas, we'll definitely step up the game and be doing, um, like, circular patterns, too, to add to it. I just feel like... The cost uh, on a market area is not, there's not enough value for it for the merchants to do that. Um, so that that's where that mentality is at. I'm going to pull up these now. Right there. And then I'm going to go over here and pull up this one too. And that one. So I think we should actually honestly come back one from that gate to kind of give it more of yeah of that kind of a hey we're here like this is this is like uh we can probably put thralls on top of that maybe i don't know i don't really don't this isn't really a guarded uh, heavily like the gates will be guarded but the tops i feel like don't need to be as much 
let's pull off this one too. And I need to replace you with that. Let's go into here and let's not do that. Let's do this. So, um, let's see, do I have any black ice? I don't think I've even made any black ice wedges. So we'll make some black ice wedges. Wedges, wedges, right there, wedges. Some being like that many. All right, so we'll replace this out. We'll also get some foundations working too. I should do that while we're doing this. So we have plenty of them. Um, where are they hiding at? They like to be buried that they are. So coming off of the back end of this though, it'd be kind of cool to have a wedge to switch it up some and we're not just gonna put like walls and go around i want to do some detail work on this but right now just kind of get a shape together is important maybe that could set it up and then we come out with these i'm gonna do foundations just to keep my height the same i don't have my sword equipped so let's get it this way And I'll put a sword up. I'm probably gonna get hit, which is fine. Hey, puppy dog. And I actually need them for the fur and the hot. Well, I was falling on them. Okay, that's nice. Oh, the attacks are way less expensive now. Thank God. Uh, let's go ahead and grab you, put you on seven. I need your furs, your hides, whatever. There we go. All right, get out of that mode. And now from here, we will do this and then do this. And then try this out on this side. Okay, so that looks very boring. Um, it's got a shape to it, but it's boring. Maybe we can add a wedge to the front and come out with this. Uh, let's do a Black ice wedge ceiling. Here. Let's also do some regular things. I haven't made any black ice ceilings because I've been using the wood for the tops of it, but I think since this is like a def semi defensive structure that uh, we will need to do uh, some of these guys for sure. Um, actually, I probably should try to snap it out here and then Put this like that. I kind of like that. I wouldn't mind throwing in some Lemurian uh, detail work as well. It is expensive as all hell, so I would spawn that in because the amount of grinding for that just would not be too feasible for what I need to do. Uh, let's try this out. Let's go ahead and grab the Mason lines. This has been a major, major player in my designing of, 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 of building and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to probably have to get rid of this then to make this happen. Like that. And then I need to do an offset from this to make this happen. Can we just stop doing all these different things? Thank you very much. I'm almost thinking that we could do an offset from the guy here. And then do one more here. Okay, this is annoying. Let's take that up. Do this here. And that would not set it up. We need to go out another half distance. So, oopsie. Because that would do that corner. We actually want it to do in the center of this one. So... Let me do this instead. I made a crap ton of these too, because we use a crap ton of them. And since you can't pick them up, which is not a big deal to me. Um, well, it doesn't want to do that. So we'll come out this way and then do that. That's what we want right there. That's the, that's the, that's the thing we are looking for. Go to you. Let's remove you. Let's remove this one. So it's not there. Let's also remove this Mason line. 
And then we need to come across. Let's use sandstone ceilings just to save some mats. So we should be able to put like the pillars here. Um, I want to use the black ice ones. That went in the wrong spot. I didn't even see where it went. And that is already adding some flavor to the mix. I'm down with that. Now I should be able to come across this because the uh, it's cool because when ceilings are overlapping with the foundations, it thinks that um, that it's supported. There we go. And I should be able to destroy all these too. We all know how powerful the word should is. I'm gonna throw another one down here just in case it gets it decides to act all funny. There we go. And so that's coming together. Now I want to put something decorative on top of our gates. Let's get up there and see what we can do. Maybe we need to put some ceilings down first and kind of go from there. And okay, that was not that did not yield the results we we're looking for. Let's try this way. Oh, nice. It made a little platform itself. Whoa, whoa. I wonder... Uh, does anything snap to the edges of this? Or it only does it on top of the middle. Okay. That's interesting. Um, let's grab our ceilings we did. And I want to make them snap to the walls. Like that. Well, no. How about we just do it off of this? Let's rotate these... Um, let's have them face like that, and then this one can face the other way, and do the same thing over here. That's wrong. That's nice, but it's wrong. And then come across this like that, and it will add snap points for us the top now where this is battling right now for the z position and didn't there it is you can see how they're flashing we won't really see that how does it look from underneath though very nice okay cool cool it's like a little ledge on there a little lip and it shouldn't be sticking through because of how we have nice it's very nice okay hmm maybe just a little crenellation thing going across would be enough ah <sighs> let me see here Lots of good things we can accomplish to get the gates in line. Really like how that just came right at the point too. Uh, let's go ahead and put the ceilings back on my bar. Uh, we'll do it here. And we need to make sure these are facing correctly. Like that. And then do this one where it's facing this way. This way we can have some sort of consistency with our design. Like that. Okay, so let's crouch and look at this. It's coming together pretty good. I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm not necessarily like amazed by it either. But it's a start. It's a start. We got to start somewhere. I do really like how the gates look, though. They're all like... It's like a like a booty right there. We got a booty right here. Little booty sticking out. You know, a little wide book right, right there going on. Booty, 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 rocking hard. Um, so I think that we are good to go to begin with here. Let me toy around with this some more and come up with some ideas for the statues and stuff. And uh, we'll come right back. Maybe I can find like a, a not a, a shiny one, but like a dull looking one to put up there. Either way, you guys hold on. I shall return. And welcome back. And I think I got it there. I think I got it there. I think we're good to go. Um, end up choosing a bunch of different statues to try out. I uh, did made some Aqualonian ones, four of each. I like the idea of when you walk in the market area, it doesn't have like the guard looking ones. So I use the lady with the scroll. Because you know, you're going to the market, Central Square, but when you're leaving it, 
those dudes are up there. I also made a couple of the Stygian Brizzigers and put them in front of the statues to kind of give them some light at nighttime. And up here in the, the little cubby holes I made, I used an arch top and then arch edges to do this. And inside of there, it has a, um, a brazier in there as well. So they emit light. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it, it I was afraid it'd come out too basic or, you know, meh, but I'm not, uh, the, the spikes are a bit much for me. That's probably the biggest thing. Uh, but I think they're, they're enough. And I think once we get uh, the walls finished and then the, the crenellations and they're, I'm going to actually make little tower points too get done i think it'll look all right i left it opening here maybe make a little guard like like a little rest area in there maybe put a, 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 be, a bed in there or something and then put um something over it i'm not sure we'll see what it looks like but uh, so far we have another puppy dog and i did level uh making the tall walls and a couple of other pieces really give a lot of xp so that's really nice Puppy dogs, come here. I need your skin. Yeah, buddy. I'm spec to kill you now. I'm spec to kill you. Are the puppy dogs come in? Do I have enough time? I don't. He's gonna hit me. Oh yeah, you hit me. Wait, did, you didn't hurt me. What's the wrong with you? Hmm. Give me your skin. Give me your skin too. But uh, I'm pretty happy, like I said, with the build so far. And I think it'll work out well. I, I kind of want to work in some more insulated wood into the exterior of it. Maybe a uh, running pillar supports up the sides of the walls. Um, kind of how we did inside to break up the, the, the same like design and color. I also need to put some stairs running down into the ground here. I need to clear this out because this was just to make sure I wasn't like crazy in that kind of sense. You know, we're still crazy in some one way or another. Uh, but I think that's going to work out. I think the distance away from the builds is good this little tight little nook here is fine by me and i'm not gonna make like i said the walls like a square around the whole build i want it to kind of have a more of an organic feel going around so what will probably end up happening in the end is we'll run this length about to here-ish and then have it dip in like how it's doing now and then have it come back out and each corner will end up putting like a tower or something to kind of break up the the look of it i might just do the small wedge towers just to you know i don't want to be overpowering the size of it so um and the height of the wall might go up one because you can see we go into the side pretty pretty much and it look a little low i think i don't know we'll see once we get it built but what happens because it does dip back down this way and then it gets to a nice level over here but we'll see how it goes um, but anyway, guys, hopefully you're liking the build so far. I appreciate the support on the YouTube. I do stream on this because there's a lot of stuff to get done and I don't have enough time just during the day to do it. You know, you know, I try my best to, but there's only so much time I need to fix that. And, uh, I'm liking the gates coming in. This looks a little off right now because that build isn't done, but once we get it done and it's out, it'll be balanced looking. Oh, um, I did bring in some Lemurian statues. Um, there are two types, but I think one got destroyed. Yeah, because the other type, there's one of this dude, which is pretty cool. I didn't use it because I felt like it was just too rawr for going into the central part of the city. But that does look pretty cool. And then there's another one. Um, I actually have to do it through here that I checked it out. Rasma. It's actually a Rasma statue. I don't know why I grabbed two, but Raz right here. And if I place it, it's gonna it's not gonna do be able to be handled. So I'm gonna put it down like this on a foundation. So I can destroy the foundation and get rid of it. Look at this. And when the wind was blowing, the skirt was kind of moving when I was placing it. So there isn't a uh, texture on the skirt, as you can see with that. But I mean, it is very nicely done. I like I like the fact that that's, that's part of it. That looks really cool. Might end up using that for something else later on. I'm not sure yet. I mean, again, this is gonna get rebuilt. I think I wanna do it when the city's pretty much close to done. But as you can see, she's gone now. She's disappeared. She's disappeared in another land. But anyway, that is the time I got for today. Hopefully you guys like what you see. Like when you see, don't forget to slam the like button. And as always, thank you so very much.
and you have yourselves a good night. Thank you.